This is StreetPainting.tv, your street painting video channel. Hi, this is Anthony Capetto from StreetPainting.tv, and I'm here with street painting artist Rod Tryon live at the Minnesota State Fair. Uh, Rod, let's talk about uh, the piece that you've just completed for the fair and tell us um, how it's been going so far. Well, it's going great. I'm uh, doing a piece for Coca Cola, and uh, the image is a bottle of Coke inside a block of ice and uh, the ice looks like it's melting onto the sidewalk and uh, there's a reflection of the fair in the, in the uh, melted water and, and uh, people are really enjoying it. Let's uh, talk about the 3D anamorphic process and what should people be taking from your experience today and actually how to view a 3D anamorphic street painting? Well the street painting is done in such a way that uh, it's elongated. Uh, as you stand below the piece, uh, the image is elongated and stretched out so that uh, when you view it from below, uh, because of foreshortening, everything uh, shortens up and uh, looks more normal. And then when you view it through a camera lens, that's when the image really becomes three-dimensional. Rod, can you tell me a little bit about the elements of the uh, street painting that you have done? Well, um, the Minnesota State Fair sort of features a lot of food on a stick, so uh, Coca-Cola and the fair uh, came to me and said, let's put some of uh, those items into the image. So we have a pork chop on a stick and a corn dog and uh, some corn on the cob, uh, just to represent some of the unique uh, food items that they have here at the Minnesota State Fair. Well, Rod, um, is there any advice that you could give any aspiring street painters here in the area? Well, um, one of the things that uh, came up with this event is uh, having to deal with the elements a little bit and uh, we had uh, a little bit of showers which is always a problem you got to worry about the rain but uh, we have plastic to cover the piece that's no problem and it got quite windy one day and uh, the surface is a little rougher than normal so uh, when the chalk doesn't stick quite as well to a rough surface you have the wind blowing the chalk around so that's a little bit of a problem but uh, we got past that and uh, we also have some severe uh, sunlight through the trees so we have uh, shadows on the piece and sometimes that's not uh, the greatest for uh, photographing it but uh, there's times when it uh, looks just fine so you just have to uh, make sure you get uh, some shade on the piece and it looks looks great. This is Anthony Capetto from StreetPainting.tv. Thank you Rod and we look forward to talking to you again. Thank you.